Now, the easiest way to add inline CSS to a component in React is simply to define it with an object. So here, let's say I'm going to create a new constant and name it red underscore background equals, and then I'm going to open the brackets and type CSS here as your regular definition. So background red. If you want to add multiple properties, you can do that with a comma. And here I'm going to add font dash size, but you don't want to use dash whenever you have a dash, just replace that with uppercase letter and type your value. Now to actually apply this inline style to your React component, go to your component, type style, open the brackets and paste the name of that variable. Now guys, remember, this is just a basic example in production code. You probably want to use some library or maybe even import CSS from another file into your React application. So for example, here I have my other app and let's say I want to import a CSS file and apply it to this page. So I'm going to go ahead and create new file under SRC folder and I'm going to call it my.css. So in this file, I'm going to define a basic CSS style for entire body of the page. And let's say background brown color yellow. And let's go back to the application. So here, what you want to do is import that file we just created using the import keyword and just specify location of that file, which is dot slash my dot CSS. Now save and refresh and you'll see that the CSS we imported from another CSS file has been applied to this page. So I'm going to delete this for now and I'm going to show you another way of adding CSS to your React component. Go ahead and create a new file in your SRC folder. And this time I'm going to call this file mystyle.module.css. And so in this CSS file we just created, I'm going to define a new class dot black brackets and here I'm just going to type background black and color white. So I'm going to save this file and go back to my app. And to add this CSS to a component, first I'm going to import and let's say give it a name like styles and type from and then specify the location of that CSS file we just created, which was mystyle.module.css. Now this CSS name becomes a object and we're going to apply that to our React component here. So I'm going to erase this existing class name and replace it with our object style.black. As you can see, you can refer to the property from that CSS file directly on the style object that we imported. So guys, this is pretty much the basics of importing and setting your CSS code to a React component.